Hello everybody and welcome back to How To Sublimate. Um, what we're going to do today is continue in our series of popular products. We are going to look at the slates. So I've got a 14 by 14 square one there in my hand. But what we're going to cover today applies to all of the slates in all of the sizes and all of the shapes. It also applies to the matte coatings and the gloss coatings. So this one's a gloss. I don't know if you can see that in the lights. But we also have the matte ones available as well. So first thing we're going to do is get our artwork printed. Uh, Victoria has sent me over a photograph to print for this one. So we're going to send that to print um, and then get onto the press. Now obviously you want to print these with the best settings for your printer. I'm not going to go through that today. If you want to have a look at how I uh, set up this uh, F500 for sublimation, um, have a look back on one of the previous videos where I do go into the, the settings of that. So yeah, set it up for your printer. We're going to run the prints. I'm going to get around the other side of this desk and we're going to get an image put on this slate. Brilliant. So, um, as you can see, we printed it on the roll. I've cut it out of the roll there. And all I'm going to do is get my slate and line it up with the print. So I've given myself kind of a three mil bleed on every edge. And that just helps me get it nice and straight, nice and square. And then what I tend to do is I'll fold the paper over the slates and tape them onto the back. Now I've not left myself a great deal of room on that side to do that. I tend to tape them like that. Yep, so we flip them over. We've got a little parcel with the slate in it. We're gonna get it onto the press and we'll get it pressed. Just a quick one. I did notice when I um, actually wrapped that there before we moved it onto the press that I hadn't done the top and bottom. What you should do is actually wrap down and up as well. So you wrap it like a parcel. You can probably tell I don't do the Christmas wrapping in our house. Um, but what that'll do is on the edges of your slates, it helps get the image over so you don't get like, the white edge on the slates. It just makes sure it gets into those uh, crevices down the side. So with that said, we'll get back to where we were and we'll get it in the press. Okay, so with these being slates, we are going to have to fairly, uh, fairly cook these because you need to get them quite hot. So for the transfer to take place. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set my press temperature is set at 185. The time I'm going to go for 400 seconds. Okay, go up to temp. Let's get this in the press. Okay, so I'm going to pull the platen out on the press. So I've got an area to work where I'm not going to take my skin off on the heat platen. So there's my slate, nicely wrapped. I'm going to put it in the center of the press. If you're doing more than one slate, I do have another one here actually, which you can lay them out. Make sure you lay them out evenly. So if you do more than one at once, you want to make sure they're kind of evenly spaced so that the platen when it comes down doesn't rock like that. Okay. So what we're going to do is that then goes in the middle. I'm going to pop that in and I'm going to cover it with a bit of baking paper, which I did have handy. Yes, to do. There we go. So a little bit of baking parchment on top like that. That's just again going to protect our press from any ink and stuff like that. So and then we just want to bring this down. Right, there we go. So that is done. Now I've got a heat glove on because these are unbelievably hot when you take them out of the press, okay? So I'm just gonna remove the baking paper. Even with your heat gloves, you don't wanna hold on to these for too long because it will eventually go through the heat glove, right? So I'm just gonna do that. I've got one, the paper should be okay to touch, but you wanna get that off as fast as you can without it bouncing back down. I'm just gonna get the tape off. This is a bit awkward when it's hot. There we go. The good thing about the parceling method as well is that even if the paper does tear, which it can do on these when it's warm, yeah, it's not going to move because it's taped from all sides, so you can kind of just work your way around them. There we go, that is looking really good. We'll get that over onto the bench, I'll let it cool down and then we'll have a, a proper look at it. Right, okay, so there we go. Slate has cooled down. You've got to let these things cool down, otherwise they will absolutely take your skin off when you touch them. They, uh, they stay hot for quite a while. So it's been about 10 minutes since we took that out of the press. Um, it's actually still warm, but obviously it's handleable now. So in the pack, you also get the two little feet with the slate, so these little things. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to you set these up like that, like so. Um, now this works the same again for all of the slates. You just you set them aside, depending on how long your slate is and which orientation you want it in. And that just sits in there like that. And there we go. 
All right, and there we go. So I know a lot of people do struggle with slates and they can be quite intimidating um, when you're just starting out. I think a lot of it comes down to how long they've got to be in the press and obviously they feel quite heavy and they're a bit different to some of the flight items. But like you're seeing here, they're really straightforward to do once you get your eye in with it. Um, yeah, there we go. So again, these are available in glossy and matte. They're all available on the site. There's a whole range of sizes in different shapes um, and all of them will come with the little standoffs as well so that you can display them where you need to. But yeah, hope you found that useful. Um, stick with the channel, we've got loads more stuff coming up. Um, if there's anything you want to see, uh, drop us a comment and we'll have a look at it and we'll, we'll add it to the production list. But yeah, other than that, thanks for watching everybody and uh, enjoy your sublimating.